Well, hello everyone and welcome back. This is Carrie and I'm going to be sharing a fun circus tent card with you today, complete with hiding animals. <laughs> they look like they've escaped from the circus. I'm using this new die set called At the Circus Dies and I've used already this little pedestal over here. Let me show you the card I use that on. I did make this one here with that little elephant and there's the pedestal from these dies. So cute, but today I'm going to be using the tent portion and showing you how easy it is to put together one of these tents. So I have some heavy doodle card stock here. This is one of the sampler packs, which is so awesome. You can try out the colors and see what you like. So today I'm choosing three colors that are circus colors to match my patterned paper. This is the greatest show pattern paper and look at these beautiful papers in here. Lots of pretty colors. Today I'm going to use this one right here and our color scheme will be those three. Now I've already inked up the lots of happy stencil using a dark blue ink and now I'm getting ready to cut out all of those pieces of the tents. I'm using the color scheme that I chose earlier with the yellow the dark blue, and I've also cut out a light blue for the tent itself, but these are gonna make the stripes on the top of that tent. So look at that, and now I'm going to add dark blue stripes to the light blue tent right here. It's very easy to add these. You can add as many or as few as you want. I'm just going to add them far apart to make large stripes on this tent, just like that, and then that tent is the topper is just going to go on just like that. Now you can see that I've already cut out two of the flags there. I did a dark blue and a yellow. And what I want to do is make the flag part yellow. So I'm just going to cut out that part and put it on the dark blue base. This way we've got a flag that's a different color than the base. And that's going to go right on top of the circus tent just like this. Look how cute this is. It's a very awesome die set. Lots of color combinations that you can choose. Now I'm gonna build one that has an opening to the front like a flap. And this time I alternated the colors, blue and yellow stripes again for the top. And this time the base of the tent will be yellow. But I've cut out these pieces right here that's the opening in the flap. So it's like the door to the tent. So I made the darker blue be the tent opening itself. So it looks like there is distance there and then yellow for the flaps to hold that open. So that's gonna be our flaps for the tent here. And now to add some stripes, I wanted to create some darker yellow colors. So I'm using some Distress Ink in Wild Honey to just darken up my yellow cardstock here. That way we're gonna be able to tell a difference in the stripes versus the tent. So just inking that on a little bit is going to really make a difference. So there we go. I'm also going to darken up the flaps of the tent as well and that will give a little more contrast. And then again, I've cut out two flags this time I want the yellow to be the base and I'll cut out the red flag to put on top to be that topper. So you can do all kinds of color combinations here. It's a very fun die set to work with. I'm just gonna add that flag top just there using my tweezers and then I'll add all of this together, gluing it down with some liquid adhesive. So for this one, I'm only using two stripes, and these are the ones that I inked up a little bit to make them darker. And then the opening to the tent will go right in the middle, just like that. And then I'll add the top of the tent with those stripes, the dark blue and the yellow, so cute. And then the flag for the very top. So now we have two tents, and that's what's going to create our card today. So see how simple these are to put together? Very, very fun. And those are gonna go on top of the, back, the background that I've already inked up with that happy die or stencil. 
Now I thought that this background needed a little more definition, so I'm going to ink around it with the red. That will give us our circus colors, bringing in all of these bright, fun circus colors. There we go. And now it's time to color up our animals. So I've already colored them mostly, but I wanted to show you that I'm adding some more interest and definition by just adding some dots to the darkest parts of these animals. So for the tigers, I'm using an orange color. For the elephant, I used a, a couple of darker shades of gray. And that's really gonna give them a little bit of personality, make it look a little more like fur as well. Super easy to do. I'm just using a couple different shades, a darker one, and then kind of blending that with a lighter shade, going over those first dots with the second color. Just so simple and fun. And look how cute these little animals are. <laughs> They're so happy. This is from the new 2x2 two two Zoo Animals set, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the coordinating dies with my Heffy Tape to keep those attached and I'll just die cut those out very simply using my small mini die cut machine. This is such a pleasure to have on my desk. It's a workhorse. It works really well. So all you have to do is put the top piece on, run that through, and then you have perfectly die cut characters for your scene. And I love that it cuts out that detail there between the tail and the tiger itself. It's a really great little detail. So these guys are going to be peeking out from behind each of the tents, those tigers there, and then I'm going to put the elephant right on the front. Now I did cut out a couple more of these die cuts here. These are from the Showtime frame dies, and that's going to build up my background to give it some more dimension. So I'm just gonna glue those together and then we'll pop that up on that background. This will make it kind of pop off that background a little bit more. And we're gonna add dimension throughout this card. So each layer is gonna get a little more dimension than the last. I'm gonna go ahead by gluing that ball to the elephant trunk and that'll make it easier for me to pop that up on the front. And now I'm gonna start building this up. I'm going to glue the tent to the tiger, just like that, and then I'll glue that back part down with liquid adhesive. That's gonna be our least raised section, but I am gonna put a couple of layers of foam tape on that little flag. Because we built up that background with a couple extra layers of cardstock, that flag needed some extra support. So I'm just adding a little bit of that foam tape. There we go, that's gonna make that stand nice and tall. Now I'll put some foam tape on the second tent with that tiger, and I can go ahead and arrange that there. I wanna make sure that that elephant will fit on as well. So I'll make sure to leave enough room for that elephant, and then the elephant will be popped up with a little bit of foam and then glued to the rest of the tent. So you can see this card has some great dimension on it, lots of interest, and when you hold it in your hand, it really feels substantial, like a really great, nice quality card, and I love that. So I'll go ahead and glue this whole background now down to our star layer that we added some ink to. And then we can go ahead and add this to our card base. For the card base, I'm using a really nice thick card base. It's 110 pound. That way it will keep it nice and secure with all of the foam layers that we added to the front. I think it really does need that extra amount of weight for the cardstock. And here's our card. You can see that it's got some good dimension, but before we finish, I used one of the stars that was cut out from that star layer from the first card I showed you. And now I'm gonna add some sparkle mix. This is the Ringmaster sparkle mix. It's got some beautiful circus colors in it, including gold and blue and red, and there's some white in there too, and also some gems. 
So this sparkle mix is gorgeous. So I'm gonna add a little bit here and there, creating a triangle of colors in each of those spots. And I'll glue those down with liquid adhesive. And there's our card. I love how this came together, but we need a sentiment for the inside. So this stamp set right here has some great sentiments that would work, but I decided to use the Go Wild, It's Your Birthday, because I just think it's so funny that those tigers are loose <laughs> from the tent. So Go Wild, It's Your Birthday worked really great. And there's our card with all that beautiful dimension, all the fun circus colors. I just love how this turned out, and I hope you did too. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. We have lots of inspiration coming your way. Thank you again for stopping by. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.